ready? Oh, name is Control. It was time to marry the game, and I said, yeah, I do. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, so realistic, and I always keep it uh, realistic. In today's video, I am doing a story time video, and this is gonna be two mini stories in one. So, the first story is about a time that I peed on the school bus. We were going, we went to a museum. This was either I believe it was fifth grade elementary school and no who was my teacher it was third or fourth grade I believe it was third grade and we were returning we were go going back to school we just went to the museum you know did all the museum stuff that you do at museums and so we were coming back, we were going back to school, we were on the bus, and I had to pee. Like, your girl had to pee, like, and there's no, like, I, I don't know, like, I didn't know what to say, like, do I tell someone, hey, I gotta pee, it's like, even if I do, can't really do nothing because we're on a bus. And this bus, we were stuck in traffic, it was, um, it was... On a bridge so it's like even if I did say something like nothing could be done so I'm like that's when I knew like that's when I knew you fucked up you should have went to the bathroom before y'all left but I didn't and I was on the bus and I have to do to do what I did like you know you have to do what you got to do sometimes to make stuff work this it was a sacrifice it was you know I have to sacrifice a lot I have to sacrifice the fact that I probably might get caught and then for the whole school year people will be calling me you know the girl that peed on her pants or whatever I have to take the risk I have to take the chance of being a Penny, what, whatever, whatever, you know. I have to take one for the team, so your girl just let it out, let it go, let it go. So yes, I let it go, I let it out. It was just, you know, and it was a hot day. So surprisingly, there was like no smell because we were like on that traffic for like a minute, and it dried up. So I just felt like I felt so uncomfortable and I felt so bad and it was like someone else sitting next to me and they didn't really notice thing I, I hope they didn't if they did smell pee and they just kept quiet whoever that person was I don't remember who it was they they're awesome because they didn't say nothing they did they acted like there was nothing everything was just normal smegular regular regular day you know so I'm so happy because yeah, that would have been so embarrassing if someone would have caught or noticed, you know. So my second story, the time that I got my period on a school bus. Yes, we're back on the school bus and we were, we were going to a little hiking, um, outdoor adventure type thing, field trip. And we got on the bus and I just felt like I felt weird like I felt you know that like you get that feeling like you know sometimes you get a feeling that this shit is coming like it's coming today like I was already on the bus your girl was wearing I don't know what, what I was wearing but it wasn't dark pants <laughs> and I didn't have no sweater cuz you know it's the summertime, so, you know, summery clothes, but I knew I was wearing pants, so, um, my, my period, we were on the bus, and my period came, so when we got to our destination, that whole bus ride was so uncomfortable, but when we got to our destination, um, 
I was just like, I can't get off this bus because I knew like once I stood up, like you will see blood stain. So I was just like, shit, fuck, fuck my life. What did I do to deserve this? You know, damn, damn. I knew Karma was a bitch, but bitch, why? You know, people were getting off the bus. I just kind of sat there because it's like, I'm not about to put myself in that position. Like, if if nobody can help me, I'm not leaving this bus type shit. So everybody got off the bus, and one of the um one of the assistants that were with us that day or whatever. Um, oh yeah, I should probably mention this happened to me when I was like in high school. <laughs> high school? What was it? I think I believe summer after sophomore year of high school it was it was just like embarrassing but yeah summer after my sophomore year of high school i believe and so what happened was one of the assistants that were with us that day i called her over and um i quietly let her know my situation you know my dilemma and she she didn't really have no pad, nobody had a pad. For some reason, nobody had a pad. But um, she had a sweater, a black sweater. She gave that to me. And um, I wrapped it around my waist. And I, that was the, um, I was able to get off the bus. And I guess we walked around and we asked and someone had a pad. So I put that on that day. Those are two of my most embarrassing stories that both happened on the school bus. I hope you guys enjoy. And um, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at silverlistic underscore silver. Check me out on Twitter. I just got my Twitter. It's silverlistics. Um, it will be in the description bar below. And I will see you guys another time. It's your girl, Silverlistic. And I'm signing out. Until next time, peace, love. Mwah.